you'll probably notice I have had a minor cold. Um, this is a salvage pallet. It is 37 items total. Uh, it cost us $390 all in. That includes all the shipping and all the additional fees. The MSRP on it was $4,881.23. Uh, and it was primarily home goods and kitchen appliances. And we received this pallet on 3-14-2019, and this is the seventh pallet that Nuts and Bolts has done, uh, all of which were through bulk at this point. Okay, so on this pallet, on this second pallet that we received on 314, once all the math is said and done, and this is a projected number once again, so keep that in mind, uh, we are expecting to make $1,448 total off of that. However, as I had told you, um, the pallet originally cost $390 all in. So if we subtract that $390, we end up with $1,058.84. However, that also doesn't include all of the uh, miscellaneous costs that uh, affront us on a weekly basis. So uh, just to give us a basic idea of those costs, we're gonna say $150 all in for this pallet for all the costs. That leaves a total of $908.84. For that $908.85, we have spent approximately 45 hours on this pallet. And that means that when it's all said and done, if our projected numbers are correct, we will end up making $20.20 .20 an hour for this pallet. The, the one thing I really wanted to talk about first was all the hard work. It, this is not a, a get-rich-quick scheme. This is a way for somebody to work very hard and make some extra money because we are working our butts off at this between my wife and I um, we're exhausted we both work a full-time job and do this job it's not super easy it's not super quick things don't go as easily as you would think when you're watching it on YouTube trust me if you think that this is a way to stop working at your job that's very hard and requires a lot of hard work uh, and go to a job that's much easier and doesn't require hard work, this is not for you. When you think this is going to be an easy job, you're just doing yourself a discredit. It's not. It's going to be a lot of hard work. Another one thing I wanted to talk to you about, and you've probably heard me talk about this a couple times, is we keep getting two pallets at once. Um, because our customers are really enjoying our products and things are going well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you everybody. But because of that, we are um, trying to get pallet after pallet in and out as quick as possible. And due to space constraints and time constraints, it really doesn't work out well for us to have two pallets uh, together on the same day. So what we've been trying to do is wait until the last possible minute and order that next pallet because we know the other one's just about to arrive. And I think a couple times they've rescheduled the first pallet to make sure that they can get the second pallet in there too. And even though they didn't tell us that two pallets were coming, boom, we show up and there's two pallets there. I just wanted to talk a couple minutes about the uh, unforeseen costs. We are paying for the gas and the time to make deliveries of these items, and that's very hard to track. Um, also, heat regulation and lighting for our room where we keep all of our items. Uh, there's all the packaging materials for when we ship off the items. There's the wear and tear on the cars for when we take items to the post office and or take them for a physical delivery. Um, there's all the supplies that we use from packaging tape to, uh, you know, pens and pencils. And then there's the fact that we simply have breakages as we go along. Um, occasionally one out of, what, 
maybe 50 items will just sit there and break on us or fall off the shelf. And I mean, all those costs happen. Can they all be uh, prevented? Well, some of them can, yes. Um, however, no matter what you do, you're always going to have additional costs that is much more than that $390 all in for the palette. For this particular palette, we did pretty good. $20.20 an hour. Um, however, I do want you to keep in mind that the palette that came in on the same day, we made $8 and some an hour. Even when we try to rigorously follow all of our own rules about making sure that we're very uh, thorough and very quick and very diligent about our time and uh, make sure that we're not wasting a lot of time on an item that's just going to be a loss. Even when all those things are rigorously adhered to, sometimes we don't make good money. Now, remember, $20.20 an hour doesn't include taxes. It doesn't have a 401k. It doesn't give you dental benefits. It doesn't give you health benefits. Anything like that. And, and just for the record, we're not even pulling any of this money out of our business right now. We're reinvesting it all back into the business. We're reinvesting all of the money back into the business until it really gets its feet up underneath itself. Uh, we have yet to pull out any money. And when we do, we're going to have to pay considerable amount of uh, self-employment taxes. Uh, so all those things to keep in mind. However, $20.20 an hour to be able to sit at home with your kids, doing testing, listing things on Facebook, it's not bad. This business takes a lot of self-discipline. I'd also like to point out, you have a lot of items that come through and again and again and again and again, we're tempted with items that we want to keep and then you end up spending all your money and having more items. And that's not what we wanted. We want to be very open and honest and truthful with you in what's going on and what we're doing. And how this makes sense or how it doesn't make sense. And hopefully through our honesty and our reviews and our opinions and our help, some of you may make some wiser decisions um, and either get into reselling or not get into reselling, either of which could be a wiser decision. Click here, here, and here because you're cool.